Hey guys, welcome to Yankee Valley Outdoors. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys my little chestnut orchard. And we're just gonna go through and I'm gonna show you guys how the trees are doing. This is the, this is my end of the summer update on these trees. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So right here, what I wanted to show you is some of my hybrid chestnut trees I planted years ago. Just wanna give you guys a quick end of summer update on them. As you can see, these little tree boxes I built have been working very well on keeping on allowing these trees to grow. This tree right now is over eight feet tall, I'd say, or about eight feet, about eight feet tall. And then we have another one right here, which has, which is shot up this way. Problem is this some um, grapevine right here has decided it was going to mess with my tree. So off camera, I'll have to take that out. My boxes, this one's holding up pretty well. See the base of this tree is pretty decent, but this allowed the tree to grow straight up and kept the tree safe. I have built many more of these boxes for our American chestnut trees, and I will show you that at the other location, how that is going. There's also one right there, another chestnut tree. That one has nothing around it, but the brush has, the brush has done a good job protecting it. But yeah, this tree right here is growing excellent, as well as this one right here, which is growing is growing excellent as well these trees are now taller than me they're about four or five years old there are some dead oak trees which i will be or at least one dead oak it's a chestnut oak the mill it for lumber there's a white oak up there i want to mill for lumber then we have right here we have another chestnut tree here we have a butternut which this box this tree box is kind of starting to fall apart but it's done its job pretty well i may have to come up here and reinforce it so deer can't eat the top off my butternut tree. This should be a butternut. I believe it's a butternut. I went through a stage where I was just planting trees everywhere and even planting them close together. Like here, we have a chestnut right here that was eaten off tons of times. It's finally grown a bunch of ground, got gained a bunch of ground, but then we have one right beside it. So eventually there's gonna be a pick and choose. But right there we have a, another hybrid chestnut down there in the weeds that has nothing around it. But I think the deer have gotten so used to it, they've left it alone. There used to be another butternut here, but I don't know where it went over the years. It kind of just died out over time. Let's come around here. Yeah, it had a brother tree, but the brother is no longer with us. I don't really know what happened to it. I know there was two. I guess the weeds may have choked. Wait, there it is. There it is right there. I haven't seen this tree in years. I didn't even know it was here. But yeah, there's the other sister tree. I promise you guys, I didn't know this was here. But just right there, how skinny the stock is compared to that other one because of it being in a tree box and not being eaten. I didn't know that tree was there and that's cool to find. There could be more in here. There definitely could be because I didn't know that one was in there and it was in there. Here we have another one that has a tree box around it. The second video on my channel was me building these little tree boxes out of scrap wood and they have held up great over the years. They're getting close to the end of their life as a box but they've done they've served their purpose and hopefully we can get something else to put around to protect these trees but just cool to know that they have held up and it's really cool that there's another butternut right there that's just it's just really cool to see coming down here there's been a bear through here i see bear poop there was another chestnut in here somewhere um i don't know if it got stepped on by the bear or not but there was definitely another tree. I'm not sure where it went, if it's even in here anymore. But I know there was another one. I thought it stood about right where I was standing. Oh, there it is. Right here. There is a tree right in here. It's a double tree. This one's been, deer have been browsing on it a little bit. Yeah, so right there, there was a tree, and then there's this one right here. I was planting trees very, very close together, but it's cool to see some survived, some didn't. So that's why sometimes it's okay to plant trees close together because they're not all going to live. But then we have that other one up there. So overall, it's a cute little tiny spot of trees. What I am worried about in the future is, so our American chestnut project is going to be way up there. 
around that hillside. It's, it's, there's going to be woods in the way, like a lot of woods in the way. My worry is we're going to get some cross pollination from these hybrids down here and they're going to get into our chestnut project, which I don't think will be the case in that big of a number because of how far it is, but it's still a risk. And I don't think anyone's going to really be happy if, happy if that happens, but yeah, it's just something I got to think about, but it is way up there around the side. So is the pollen going to get there? I don't know. These trees still are years away from being able to really do anything, but I guess time will tell. Let me go up and show you guys, show you guys the trees that I want to mill for lumber. Right here we have a chestnut oak. It died, I think, last year or year before. It's a pretty big chestnut oak. I think I could get some, some decent slabs out of it. I mean, it's not perfectly straight, but I still think I can get some wood out of it. This one right here, I thought was dead last year and it came back to life, so. Oaks are kind of weird sometimes. You think they're dead and they come back. This one's definitely dead. That one probably will be dead next year, but I guess we will, I guess time will, time will tell. But my plan is, so this year we sold almost a thousand dollars worth of chestnut trees. And my, my goal is to take the money and buy a good chainsaw and buy a ladder mill thing and hopefully start making some lumber and build a tiny house. So I'm trying to like navigate through the bars and talk to you guys. So right here, here is a white oak, which I think it'd be cool to make a little, I think it'd be cool to make a little table out of this tree. This white oak sadly has died. You don't run a tractor over roots of a tree because it tends to tends to weaken the tree and then infections get in and the tree and the tree doesn't the tree doesn't make it but right there there's a lot of lumber in this tree and it would make a nice little I think a nice little like countertop type table or take two slabs if there's good enough pieces take two slabs and two slabs and make a table or something I, I have some ideas I guess time will tell and we will see what we come up with now over here there's there's a few more trees some of these look a little too rotten to use these ones up here last year had like no leaves on them and this year they've come back to a certain to a certain extent like there's these two trees i mean you can see the tops kind of dead but they grew new leaves so i guess i don't know what's gonna happen with them but there's there's some wood in those. This one right here, it got hit with whatever that infection was. And you can see the top of it died. Will it come back? I don't know. But there's also a white oak over there that's dead. So there's all kinds of different types of trees that can be cut down for lumber and get them before they, before they rot. But I just wanted to show you guys that. I didn't do a video this year on the update on the tree infection, which I think I will do a video soon. But it hasn't taken too many more trees. I think the spread of it kind of stopped because we had a little bit more, a little bit more water this year. But time will tell and see. Time will tell, and I guess we'll see what happens. Thank you guys so much for watching Yankee Valley Outdoors. I really appreciate you guys checking into the channel and watching what I have going on with the trees and other topics. Really appreciate you guys watching me and just being here to hang out. That's it about it for that. That is it for this video. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching Yankee Valley Outdoors. And as always, don't forget to drop a like on this video, hit that notification bell and subscribe for more content. And as always, keep it electrified. I'll see y'all later.